Yo, yo, family, how y'all doing? Back at it once again. Favorite entrepreneurs, favorite entrepreneur, your boy, official Tyrese Samuels. And as y'all see once again, right, I decided I wanted to bring the glasses back, right? I'm kind of liking how they feel, you know, they help my eyes when I'm looking at the laptop and so on and so forth. So today we're going to be talking about how you guys can replay, right, and use the replay tool on TradingView. So if you guys want to be able to learn how to properly backtest, right, how to be able to see something that already happened but want to be able to put it back in a real-time situation, this is what this video is for. I'm gonna see you guys on the next clip. Peace. All right, back at it once again. Favorite entrepreneurs, favorite entrepreneur, your boy, official Tyree Samuels, right? Now, before y'all go any further, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? I want you guys to stay notified every single time I drop a video, which is damn near every single day, okay? And then in addition to that, don't be afraid to go ahead and, you know, hit that thumbs up as well, too, because I want YouTube to know that y'all are appreciating these videos so they rock with me, okay? So today we're going to be talking about how to be able to use something called the replay tool. This is going to be another relatively short video, so I need you guys to just pay attention because if you blink, you might miss it, right? Now, this is going to be a feature that I believe, don't quote me on it because I don't have the free version, you need the paid version of TradingView to be able to access. Now, the paid version of TradingView, there's three different account types, right? You just need to get the next one up, which will be, I think it's about $15 a month. Now, you don't have to, but the free version of TradingView is only going to give you so many features, right? And I do believe that this is a feature that does not come with the free TradingView option. So what I'm actually going to do, okay, is I'm actually going to come over here at the top and I'm going to locate this right here, right? The one that looks like the rewind button right on like the VHS or something like that, okay? So where it says bar replay, that's exactly where you guys are going to be able to click on so that you can utilize the replay tool. So what I want to be able to show you guys real quick is a scenario that you could possibly look at for the replay tool. So this is actually a setup that, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm a little tight. I called this out earlier this week, which um, if you guys are not aware, I actually do have a Telegram, okay? And as you can see, I am transparent. So we did actually recently take a loss um, yesterday, but I want you guys to be able to know I do have full transparency and we are going to win some. We're also going to lose some because this is investing. But with that being said, you guys would have access to my free Telegram chat where I send out trade ideas. I'm actually dropped the link below in my description. But what I want to be able to show you guys is this AUD CAD trade um, that I called out earlier this week. And this is an example of how you can actually use the bar replay tool to go back and possibly see what it is that um, you could have maybe done better. So I'm gonna actually take these parameters and I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go put these back on the chart and we're gonna see if this actually would have activated while using the replay tool. So let me erase this, okay? And now I'm gonna go back to the time frame I see listed. So these are how you guys can also mark up your chart similar to mine. So I can go look in the top left-hand corner and I can see it says 120, which is gonna represent minutes. For whatever reason, anytime you screenshot a picture, it's gonna show the minutes even if you're looking at it in hours. So 120 minutes, on my chart will be equivalent to three hours just because I know that that's the time frame that I actually took this on. Um, I think. Oh, no, the two hour, 120 minutes, 60 times two is a. Yeah. <laughs> so what you guys want to be able to do is I'm now going to take the information and put it on my chart. So the entry is zero. Right. Nine, one, two, one, zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take a uh, horizontal ray. I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to go to the coordinates. I'm going to erase that. And then, oh, snap. I'm going to erase that. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to paste. All right, cool. Now, this is going to be where I was looking for my entry. And if you guys can see, look at how close it came, but no cigar. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this replay tool and I'm going to put it in the scenario of where it was when I called out the trade. So when I called out the trade, we were literally still on this very next two-hour candle, okay? So if I take it and put it right there, actually, let me do it one more time. So it would be about right here, okay? So at the time I called out this trade, we were about right here with it, okay? Now, I'm going to actually hit play, okay? And what I want you guys to see is you guys can actually adjust the speed in which it's moving, okay? So as you guys can see, right, the market came close right here. It actually came about um, <laughs> literally not even two pips away, right? 
And as you can see, the market actually um, made a return and came back one more time right there. But once again, as you guys can see, close but no cigar, okay? So that's gonna be an example of how I'm actually using a bar replay tool to be able to go back and see the market moving as if it was in real time, even though it's already happened. And this is gonna be a dope way for you, to, you guys to actually be able to utilize this. So you wanna be able to take advantage of it and you know, use it whenever you're back testing. And for anybody that doesn't know how to actually maneuver on trading view, what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna drop a video link up here. I actually did a video showing you guys how to navigate through trading view um, because this is just focused on the replay tool. So from this, this is how you guys can actually start back testing, right? So if I was looking for an entry, I did the replay tool. It's like, dang, it came close. I have to now ask myself, if I see a similar situation like this in the future, is there anything I could have done differently to actually have positioned myself to be in the trade, right? Because I can't just say, oh, I should have moved my entry up an extra pip or two because based off of what? If this is where I was looking for my entry, then it was for a specific reason. So if I start scaling down, okay, I want to see, is there anything that could have jumped out to me? Like, oh, I did. I could have possibly overlooked that. Okay. So let's see. All right. Perfect. So I can tell you guys right now from what I see, if we look at where my entry is, I can see that it looks like I was more so, you know, possibly thinking maybe the market could come and tackle um, this area up in here, which is referred to an imbalance. Right. But it didn't. What it looks like the market actually ended up doing was it looks like the market actually ended up um, reacting off of this candle right here. And now that I'm looking at it, it does make sense that I could have, you know, looked to actually trade off of this candle and, you know, move my entry up a little bit more, kind of knowing that it may have been, you know, not as favorable for the market to come back this low whenever this is, you know, kind of going to be a support that it's going to react off of. So I can now come back in relative, you know, uh, after the fact, right? And I can see that there is actually a way that I could have, you know, possibly been in this trade and maybe have my trade, you know, up a couple of pips higher. But with that being said, guys, I wanted to be able to show you guys how to use a replay tool because I know it's going to help you in your trading journey moving forward. So if you guys like this video, please don't be shy. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I want you guys to never miss a video. I want you to get it the second it comes out, okay? Next, if you guys can like, comment, share, it would be really be appreciated because I know you're not the only person that needs this, and I would hope that you want to be able to share this with somebody else. And then, guys, come on now. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up real quick for your boy. YouTube needs to see it. They need to see that we out here rocking every single day. And with that being said, follow your boy on Instagram at official Tyree Samuels. I'm going to see y'all at the top. Not from the top because the bottom is way too crowded. See you when you want to be a peace.